Hi everyone, Rob Harris here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming back and checking out what I'm up to. Um, if you're new here, it's the first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end and ring the bell so you get an alert every time I release a new video. Also, another thing I'd like to say is if anyone's got anything they'd like me to explain and talk about, leave a comment in the, in the uh, section below and I'll get to it, I'll get back to you. So what I'm doing today is I've got five funky licks. They're kind of licks, they're more, they're more like grooves. So um, it's basically if you're, if you're working on things where you're having to do one chord vamps over dominant seventh chords or minor chords or major chords, just little moves that you can make just to open you up a little bit to some funky ideas. So without further ado, here are the licks. So this first lick is based around a B7 chord. Um, you know, it's something I would do if I was just jamming, you know, and it's a, it's a constant vamp. I might sort of comp in the background. It's quite, you know, nice little bit of space in it and there's some single note lines. Uh, you sort of hint at the chord. So um, I'll just take you through this really slowly. Um, the first thing I've got is my third finger on the ninth fret of the, B, uh, the D string. Sorry, ninth fret of the D string. And I'm pulling off to my first finger, which is on the seventh fret of the D string. And then going to the ninth fret of the A string with my third finger. Back to the, the ninth fret um, of the D string with my third finger so you get this this line so the picking for that is down down up so down pull off down up like that and then the next bit is sort of the thing that sort of suggests the chord so I'm just Barring my first finger across the D and the G strings at the seventh fret, and then I'm hammering on my second finger to the eighth fret of the G string, and that kind of gives you your you're getting your flat seven and your your third in your B seven chord there, like that. And then to finish off the line, you get um, back to the uh, seventh fret of the D string, and then you kind of repeat that line again. So, like that. So you repeat the whole thing twice. And then you do do this, which I see as like a, a little turnaround note. And that, that of course works all over the neck. So wherever you've got a, a seventh chord, like G7 there, if, if I do it under G7, one, two, three, four. A7. C7. It's quite a nice thing and you know, it sounds cool faster. It's a cool little thing just to comp behind, you know, just a funky little line. So 
So this one is something I do um, quite often over minor chords, minor seventh chords. So we've got a B minor seven here. Um, and it's just a little movement that, I'll, that I make quite often where I'm playing double stops. Um, yeah, I do it all the time. It's kind of, um, I think I nicked it from uh, uh, Paul Jackson Jr. on PYT at the start of PYT. That's probably the first time I heard it um, when I was quite a lot younger. Um, but yeah, it's so you've got your B minor 7 chord here. Now, what I do is I fret it with my third finger. I kind of grip the strings, but I'm barring the B, the, the E, B and G string with my third finger, kind of making sure that I'm using the tip of my third finger to mute the G, uh, the D string, sorry. And my, my thumb is over the top muting the, the low E and the A strings. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm playing two strums there, down up, and then I move my first finger to the fifth fret of the B string and my second finger to the sixth fret of the G string, like that. And then I, so I go, so that goes down, up, down, down, up, like that. Your hand is constantly swinging. Like that. Um, and what that does is that gives you the sound of what you're doing is over a B minor 7 chord, you're introducing the 9th and the 11th. So you're kind of getting like a, a B minor 11. You're, you're sort of introducing the 9th and the 11th. So you, you're, you're losing your minor 3rd, but you're getting this kind of, kind of sound which I, I, I really love, I love doing that. The rest of the lick goes like this. Once you've done that, you go down to the third fret, you keep your fingers in the same position from the sixth, uh, the fifth uh, and the sixth fret, but you move them down to the third fret and you slide from the third fret back up to the fifth fret like this. Like that. So that's a down, slide, and then down again. So to finish off the line, you get this. Down, up, down, down, up, like that. So play it all together, three, four. So yeah, I, I use that all the time. And of course, wherever you've got a minor seventh chord, you can do it, you know, D minor. Like that. So this one is what I kind of think of as a print style guitar part. Um, still around the B minor kind of sound. Um, what I'm doing is I'm barring. I've got my first, my whole hand is kind of wrapped around the guitar for, around the seventh fret again, where the B minor is. Thumb over the top and my third finger kind of lays on the G string and the D string at the ninth fret and my fourth finger uh, and is barring, and my fourth finger is barring and holding down the 10th fret of the B and the E string. So you get that sound. Okay. Um, so this is all double stops. So I do that, down, up, down, up, up. That's the strumming for that, down, up, up. And then what we're doing is I'm, I'm gripping the hand quite tightly around the, uh, around the neck 
and I'm barring with my third finger and my first finger um, my third finger is on the ninth fret of the B and the G string and I'm, I've got my three fingers on as you can see there the seventh fret is where my first finger is and what I'm doing is I'm 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 striking the, the B and the E uh, B and the G string and bending them down bending them down just stretching them downwards and then coming off to the seventh fret where my, where my first finger is barring uh, three four Now, what that sounds like to me, that's kind of like a, you know, in the in the 80s, you know, Prince used to do those synth sounds where the mod, the uh, the pitch shift, they'd be stabbing a chord and, and kind of sliding the pitch shift with the left hand. It's good fun, and of course that can move around the neck as well. G. I mean, you, the other way you can do it if you wanted to uh, is slide. Uh, I, 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 I like the sound of... Yeah, I really like that one. So this fourth one is based around a B9 chord. Um, this is a fun one to do, I like this one. Um, I've got my second finger on the seventh fret of the D string. I've got my first finger on the sixth fret of the G. And I've got my second finger on the seventh fret of the B. So if I, if I put my thumb over the top there, the seventh fret of the E string, I get my B9 chord. Now, um, there's a lot of sliding in this one. And what happens is I'm, I'm kind of approaching the chord from a fret below. So I, I just move my fingers down, all of them together as a shape, down so my first finger is on the fifth fret of the G string. And I strike the chord and slide up to give me the B9 chord. So the strumming for that first bit of the bar, it goes like this, three, four, so I, I strike the strings, slide slide up, and I go, so I slide up, and then do a down up. And then I do the slide again. So it's slide up, down up, slide up. Okay, and then what I do is I keep the same shape, I move it all up, so my first finger's on the eighth fret of the G, and then I play chromatically down like that so that's and then I move back down to the B9 uh, the slide again like that really slowly So this last one is in B, it's B major. Um, so I'll play it really slowly so I can, you know, explain, so you can. So this last one is in B, based around a B major chord. 
Um, I'll play it really slowly at first so we can get to grips with what's going on. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, there's lots of double stops going on, two notes at the same time, a little bit of sliding and some nice little popping picking lines. So it starts off with first finger barring the fourth fret of the G and the B. And as you can see, my right hand is, is staying quite close to the picking hand, is staying really close to the strings. So I'm not strumming, I'm kind of picking quite close and almost palm muting. For the for the picking notes, so um, I do I strike the strings twice. I'm going down, up for the first bit. I then do a hammer on. I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the D, and I hammer on my third finger to the sixth fret, and then pull off back to the fourth again on the D string. That, the picking for that is down, up, up and then I hammer on and pull off. Then I'm doing this slide, this really nice little slide. Um, I put my, I keep my first finger where it is, but I put my second finger on the fifth fret of the, G, the B string, and my third finger on the sixth fret of the G, and with one stroke, I slide it up a tone, and then back down again. And then I strike the strings back at the fourth fret. I use that all the time. And then after I've done the slide, I pick up again and do the hammer on again. So I repeat that. And then I play this little figure which is the third fret of the, the, uh, the, sorry, the fourth fret of the G string with my first finger, down up with the, on the pick, sixth fret of the D with my third finger, down stroke as well, uh, down to the fourth fret of the D, and then back to the sixth fret with my third finger. And the picking for that is down, up, down, down, down. So that's the first half of it. First half of it. The second half is the same start. Does exactly the same as the first bit, but the turnaround at the end is different. Um, which so. So that is the first finger, or, uh, sorry, the fourth finger on the seventh fret of the D, down up, down to the sixth fret, third finger uh, on the D with a down stroke, fourth fret of the D with your first finger, and then onto the A string where you play the fifth fret with your second finger, and then the sixth fret with your third finger. So the picking for that is down, up, down, 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 up. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found them useful. As I said, those are little ideas that I use all the time. And you know, if, if you're sort of starting out wanting to learn some funk, playing um, you know there's some useful bits that you can use there um, I'm going to offer up if anyone is interested in using those backing tracks to jam along to I'll um, I'll make a little folder of them and if you're interested um, just drop me a message down in the comment bin below and I'll get them sent out to you just you know they might be fun for you to play along to um, 
Thanks for coming back to check out what I've been up to. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get an alert every time I release a new video.